Hey guys, Avrix here, and welcome to a brand new series that I plan on doing just about once every single week now. While I don't want to just be a news channel that talks only about Tarkov news, because we have plenty of people who already do that that are really good at it, I do want to be able to address the best things that are going on, or the worst things that are going on in the week, talk about it, and hear everybody's opinions as well. So everything in this series is going to be me asking you guys questions, and me telling you guys how I feel. It's not really going to be much about facts or anything like that, so if that's what you want, just go watch like Nice Guy or something like that, he's got the best better content for that. So for everybody else who wants to just listen to somebody else's opinion on the matter, well, congratulations, you found the right video. Oh boy, and we're starting it off with a very, very raunchy video today. Well, not raunchy, but more negative than anything in my opinion. We're going to be talking about the anti-RMT measures that Battlestate Games has just implemented recently. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about by anti-RMT measures implemented recently, I'll just kind of give you a quick little summary of what it is. Pretty much, specific items you will not be able to drop in raid anymore unless they are found in raid. So if you find a Bitcoin in raid or something and you want to drop it to your friend, that's cool, that's awesome. But if you have a Bitcoin in your inventory and you want to give it to your friend, you can't do that anymore. Now, in my opinion, on this just alone by itself is already a little annoying, but they added a little more and this is kind of what more or less upset and irritates me the most about everything. With this update, uh, some people might not have noticed because I, I had no idea that it was really a thing either. Whenever you go to sell anything now on the market, the flea market specifically, what I mean by that, Battlestate Games implemented a new way on how they track the fees for flea market. Depending on how far over or under you are of what the traders regularly sell the item for, the higher or lower your fee would be for this. And personally for me, I think this is completely stupid. I really hate this idea. Well, I halfway hate the idea. This is what I mean. Keep in mind, this hasn't been implemented for too long, so we don't actually know if this is just some sort of bug, because I haven't really heard them technically announce this as an actual thing yet, so all of this obviously is subject to change. Pretty much why I hate, obviously, this new fee tracker is because, to me, it doesn't really feel like it's much of its own kind of market. It's it's connected to the traders, and I don't really like that personally. The traders can't sit here and detect what is the most popular item or what is really needed right now because the traders don't also have a dynamic price change. So if you need like one specific item or something for like a really big quest or something that just got implemented to the game, but the item's been like 5,000 rubles this entire time, every single wipe since the game released, it's going to stay around there. And if you try and sell it anywhere above the 5,000 that the traders sell it for or some shit like that, it's going to be like 20, 30,000 rubles for like a 15, 20,000 ruble item uh, the fee is going to be, which I also absolutely love. Why? Well, if you've ever played Early Wipe and tried to rush to get Gunsmith Part 1, 2, 3, etc. done, then you already know where I'm going with this. Basically, if this is not a bug and this is a real thing, being able to get to level 15 and buy said items that I need for gunsmith, like handguards and shit for a fucking AK-74U, and not have to pay half a million for them is pretty fucking cool. Again, flipping the switch completely again here, it's also just kinda sucks because it completely defeats the purpose of even wanting to level up any of the traders, at least at, in, in this idea it is, because if it's going to punish people from selling like RK2s and really top tier gear and shit like that for really, really, really way above what the traders are selling it for, then soon it'll just mellow out and be slightly above what the traders have. So for someone who doesn't really care about Kappa or anything like that, it really doesn't incentivize me to want to actually get the traders leveled up. But this has only been here for a couple of days, so we don't actually genuinely know if this is going to affect the market anymore. There might be some crazy motherfuckers who just say, fuck it, I don't care, I'm not going to sell my shit for around the same price as the traders. Which in turn makes everybody else follow behind and not pay attention to the fees. It also might be important to note that right now, I don't know if they fix it, but at the time of recording, the fees that it's telling you it's charging is not actually what it is. It's probably about, I'd say about 40-50% of what it's actually telling you, at least for some of the items. It's really weird. Some items it works and some items it doesn't, and I just don't have the time to sit there and go through and test every single item when I know somebody else definitely will, so. But getting back to the main anti-RMT point real quick to touch back on that, because I kind of totally just tossed that one out the fucking window. 
A lot of people are quite upset with this change because not only does it stop anti-RMTers, it also just stops people who are just trying to help their friends as well. Using an example, forgetting about the flea market fees and everything for a moment, one thing that I'd always do with a bunch of my friends is whoever would get to level 15 or whatever first or get to the trader level to be able to unlock the gunsmith part 1 parts first would help out everybody else in return of, I don't know, like a machinery key so they can get the machinery key and then that's kind of how we did it. We split like the groups in half and focused on different levels of tasks and shit like that how that way and a lot of people are gonna be like oh they should be doing it themselves they should be and I mean like I said in the comment section if you guys want to talk about this and civilly discuss about it obviously that's totally fine you don't have to have the same opinion as me but anybody who's sitting there that's trying to shit on other people for playing the game differently than them uh go fuck yourself your comment will be deleted I'm not gonna fucking sit here and listen to clowns like you but for everybody else again feel free to comment anything you want. Again, it can be completely different from what I say, as long as you guys are respectful to each other and understand that it's a video game at the end of the day. As long as you're having fun, you know, play that way. Have fun, man. And definitely don't let some fucking YouTuber like me or some YouTube comment change your opinion on how you should play. But going back to the way how people would like to play, the way that our group would get around it is the guys who weren't that good at PvP or the ones who didn't like PvP would avoid getting the machinery key because you need to do PvP. We'd establish a trade almost. You do this job, I'll do this job because I don't like doing this and you don't like doing that. So if we do both and then come meet in the middle, it, I mean, it works, right? So because of this new anti-RMT change, a lot of people are really worried that that's going to kind of affect their style of gameplay by meeting in the middle and helping other people because even things like machinery keys, you can't drop those anymore. Just go on one of Battlestate Games' Twitters or some shit like that. You'll 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 find it if you haven't seen the list of everything that's already taken away. It's not everything, but it's it's a lot of things that are at least somewhat worth value, worth your time, or worth money. You probably can't drop them anymore. I mean, for me, I, I it, it sucks. I mean, I'll be honest, it, it definitely sucks. It's it's not going to ruin my entire time of wanting to play Tarkov, but I do know of some people who don't play the game too much and want to play it just to play it as like a better daisy without zombies and will probably stop playing until the wipe. So what would I personally like seeing done after this whole changes and things? Well, I I mean, if this one change is doing such a huge change as much as BSG is saying it is, I'd like most of the other anti-RMT measures lifted because it really only fucks over the legit players. And what I mean by like anti-RMT, anti-cheater stuff, I mean the ability to not fucking buy 9mm ammo besides PST. Are you, I mean, really? Mainly what I'm trying to get at is kind of loosen the restrictions of what you are and are able to sell on the flea market because some of the things are just absolutely ridiculous and make no sense just because it's a top tier ammo in that category but it's like barely mid tier yeah uh, yeah i'm looking at nine millimeter right now so yeah, that's just about the most important things going on in Tarkov right now this week. I thought I'd just make a little video talking about it because I do really enjoy talking about Tarkov and sometimes I don't have the time to be able to get an actual real video in of just nuts to butts action and shit like that and I'd still want to make more content for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of keep track of how this video is doing and stuff like that, kind of make a couple more like this throughout the coming weeks and coming months and really track the progression and see how this video and series continues to do. If it continues to do pretty okay, I'm going to keep doing them because if it's working and you guys like it, then hell yeah, I'll totally keep doing it. Until then, guys, I'll talk to you later and thank you so much for watching the video. Tell me, do you feel ashamed on how you've turned your back on me? Please tell me why'd you go?